So welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today we're talking about a brand new update coming to the game. Title update number 7 was announced and it promises some gameplay fixes, some career mode fixes, some ultimate team Volta and a few other things. So we're going to go over everything you need to know. I'm going to read these notes so you don't have to and I hope you do enjoy. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 21 content. The last time I checked, subscribing is free so please do so and help the channel out. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. They've got a new and improved app and they want you to try it out. It's cleaner, simpler and smarter than ever. Now this app is the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you use my link in the description. You can download it for free. So currently title update number 7 is out on PC and it should be coming out on the consoles within a week. I don't really have a date or time for this update. Alright, let's talk about gameplay first. They've made the following changes. Reduce the speed at which the ball travels when performing driven or driven ground crosses. This effect is most noticeable when performing a driven or driven ground cross with a player whose crossing attribute is 75 or lower. The higher the crossing attribute, the less pronounced this effect is. They've also decreased how accurate a volley can be if the ball is reaching the shot taker at a high speed. They've adjusted referee logic to better evaluate when a yellow card should be given. Further improved interception logic in situations where the defending player is directly in the ball's path. This change applies only in situations where the ball carrier is passing the ball. Decreased player transition speed into a fake shot while sprinting after the skill move was successfully requested. They've also addressed the following issues. Improved animation selection logic when attempting to make a save as a player controlled goalkeeper. Sometimes fouls around the edge of the box were resulting in seemingly incorrect ball placement for the following set piece. The in-game referee made the correct decision in these situations, but the resolution of the fouling animations could make it seem as if a foul took place in a slightly different spot on the pitch. Improved referee logic in situations where a professional foul is committed by the last player in defense, impacting a potential attacking opportunity. In some cases, referees did not make the correct foul call following a physical contest or standing tackle. The hill chop skill move could not be performed while sprinting, Reduced some instances of the ball carrier stumbling after minimal physical contact in the box. This could sometimes have led to unnecessary penalty kick calls. In some situations, a player who was attempting to intercept the pass would incorrectly move their foot away from the ball. In rare instances, players would teleport during a non-gameplay foul scene following an advantage. So those were the gameplay fixes. You don't notice how many issues there are until you start reading these notes, but I don't really experience too many issues in the gameplay, but I'm sure they're there, probably online and stuff. Let's move on to FIFA Ultimate Team. Not much to talk about here. They've addressed the following issues. When loading a squad battles match, the opponent's squad screen sometimes disappeared too quickly. After reaching the previously set personal pack limit on FIFA Playtime, SBC reward packs could not have been opened without changing or ignoring the limit for one hour. A potential stability issue could occur when the captain invited a friend to the co-op lobby. Next up is everyone's favorite game mode, Volta Football. They've addressed the following issues. When switching between tabs in gear up, the UI did not always reflect the currently selected objective. Address some instances of players being unable to match make. That's all for Volta. Now let's talk about career mode. They've addressed the following issues. There's not much here. Updated the interactive match sim UI when penalty kicks and penalty kick shootouts occur. A stability issue could occur when playing with Argentine teams. In player career, some stats were not being tracked correctly when playing a portion of the match and selecting the jump to result option from the pause menu. I think a few of you guys said that in player career, you, you weren't seeing accurate stats, so hopefully that fixes it up. But that's all for career mode anyway. Next up, let's talk about general visual and audio. They've made the following changes. They've updated several kits and a stadium. Unfortunately, Ellen Road is not activated for this update. If we check on the PC what stadium Leeds uses, it's still East Point Arena. Ellen Road is not in the game at the moment. And also, the Brescia and Spal third kits have not been added as well. I checked for years, and that's not changing. So, what actually changed was the Espanol kit. What they did was just change the sponsor at the back pretty much, and also change the icon in the menus for the kit selector. So that's pretty much it for your title update number 7. Those were the details. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, make sure you subscribe as well for more, and check my second channel, Vapex Karma 2, for my next-gen career mode series happening over there. Please make sure you check out this FIFA video, hit the card in the middle, it'll take you right there. I'll see you next time.